Richard Southern joins us once again. Richard, a couple of weeks ago, we talked about some of the products people aren't buying on that list was Dance. deodorant. And it seems like that's not the only problem uh, we're having to deal with. Now it seems people aren't caring too much about their breath. Mm, yeah, because we're not meeting face to face, right? You Hershey's, can't smell through Hershey's. Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> we heard from Hershey's today, Janella, and they said sales of their gums and mints have fallen off a cliff. Hmm. <laughs> because people just aren't meeting face to face, right? So uh, Hershey's uh, makes you know, ice breakers. They also, of course, make chocolate kisses. And they say sales are, are, are way down for those mints, but also um, for the candies as well. Hershey says it relies on a lot of impulse buys in airports and in convenience stores, and people just aren't in those areas uh, too much anymore. So, you know, that's the thing. When you're on a Zoom call, Janella, it doesn't really matter what your breath smells like, I suppose, does Probably it? Probably a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, lots of us have been spending time shopping online. I am guilty. Um, and now uh, if you've got some extra cash, you could maybe uh, bid on an interesting piece of rock and roll memorabilia that's about to hit the auction block. Uh, do you like Elvis? Are you an Elvis Presley fan, Janella? I mean, who isn't, right? It's a uh, classic. <laughs> sure. Um, I don't know if you like him this much to buy <laughs> Elvis Presley's jock strap. Yes, oh. I am not kidding you. <laughs> Uh, Elvis Presley's Oh, no. I didn't know where this was going. <laughs> Look at that, Janella. It is all blinged out. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting a little accurate here on City News tonight. Anyways, this is uh, they're going to sell for about $50,000, Janella. Uh, it's probably the most Elvis Presley thing you can imagine Sorry. with all the rhinestone studs on it. Apparently, he did wear it off and on until his death in 1977. And uh, some of the collectors behind this say that uh, there's been a big increase in celebrity memorabilia, like this crazy thing, because people are have more time on their hands, their home social distancing. So, so I set myself up for that one because I had no idea what you know what you were going to present to me, and I was not Ooh. expecting that. Um, right you know what? I will field. leave that one for the super fans. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, finally, I wanted to talk about Walt Disney World. Yes. We got this news in today. Walt Disney World's going to start opening up again. The so happiest saying, place on earth. Will it still be happy? in the midst of the coronavirus know, pandemic? It's got, I'd be, it'd be the most nervous place on earth for me, Janella. Yeah. Uh, Dis Disney theme parks, or at least uh, the, the Magic Kingdom and the Animal Kingdom, those two specifically in Orlando, will reopen on July 11th. So really only a few weeks from now. Uh, what's gonna happen though, you're gonna have to have your temperature taken before you go in, and you're going to have to wear a mask. No ifs, ands, oh. or buts about it. Disney says if you don't have a mask, they're going to give you one. There's going to be social distancing markers on the ground, and the employees apparently are going to enforce all the rules. Are you going to be hurrying back to Disney? Definitely not. But I guess there's not going to be no hugging uh, Mickey or Minnie. Uh, and are they? Are all of the characters going to have masks on them too? That's a good point. We'll have to find out if uh, if old Mickey there is going to have a medical mask on or not. The photo ops are going to look a little different. All right. Thanks so much, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.